Hey guys, welcome to another episode on my channel. So this in front of you is code from our previous episode. And there I showed you how to create two separated tasks that are going to be executed simultaneously. And now we are going to make one step further and I'm going to show you how to use shared variables and how to use semaphore handler in order to synchronize those two tasks. All right, so I'm going to uh, change this code a little bit. So I'm going to delete these elements. Uh, I don't need this task handle. We don't need second task. And we are just going to keep one task. And I'm going to change this to int value or task num. And I'm going to change this into int. This is fine while loop it's fine I'm going to delete this and okay this is fine so first thing that i'm going to do is i'm going to create one integer shared value and i'm going to set it to zero and now semaphore handle underscore t shared mutex call it like this equals null all right now in uh, void setup uh, we are going to uh, create an instance of it so shared mutex equals x semaphore create but not binary but create mutex okay we are going to use this function in order to create instance and we are going to get back to this setup function but first i want to deal with this uh, task function so first what we are going to do we are going to uh, provide the task number through this parameter so we are going to have uh, two tasks one is going to be uh, zero and another is going to be one and then we have an infinite while loop. So first thing that we are going to do in here, we are going to check if shared mutex not equals to null. Then we are going to proceed. And if shared mutex is not null, first thing what we are going to do, we are going to take this uh, handle by this process. So with x semaphore, Take. We are going to provide the argument first is going to be shared mutex and then second argument is going to be uh, wait time. So I'm going to provide in here uh, port max delay. So in this way we are going to allow our mutex uh, to uh, wait to infinity uh, and then we are going to check uh, pd true. So if this is true, first thing what we are going to do, we are going to take our shared value and we are going to uh, add value of uh, task num. So if our task number is uh, zero, value is going to re remain the same. But if our task value is one, we are going to raise this value by one. And I'm going to print something in here. So serial print. F, I'm going to use printf, it's easier in this case. So running task number it's percent %d and then tab and shared value is and percentage %d and new line. Uh, so now I have to uh, add task num and second argument is going to be shared value all right after this is done we have to call a function x give and we have to provide argument of shared mutex of course we have to call this function otherwise the second process would not be able to take the handle and now i'm just going to call delay of one second and in here i'm just going to make one more delay of 
100 milliseconds and now go to your void setup in here we are going to create tasks so first we are going to create a static integer task num zero and now we are going to use function x task create in order to create task uh, first is going to be name of this function so it's task second argument is going to be a human readable form so task zero third argument is going to be a stack size so 2048 next is going to be of a void pointer type of address of task number task num then we are going to use priority one maximum is five is five and then handle now so we are not going to use any handle and i'm going to copy this function once again we are going to have task uh, zero this is fine and we are going to create one more integer variable task num one set value to one and i'm going to add that in here all right and we are not going to have any code in our void loop i'm going to save this i'm going to build this code and i'm going to upload it now all right now i'm going to open my serial monitor let's see what we are going to get as you see with zero and one with zero value uh, remains the same and uh, with uh, task number one our value is risen by one and this process goes so guys that's all for this episode i hope that you learned something new something interesting so please like subscribe and see ya